Mr. British High Commissioner to Nigeria, Mr. Paul Akrice, who was one of the foreign guests that graced the coronation ceremony of Omonoba Ewa II, records the historical relationship between the United Kingdom and the Bini Kingdom, pointing out that, in view of the vast diplomatic experiences and international connection of Oba Ewa II, Bini indigenous should count themselves lucky as the race honored by God. The British High Commissioner disclosed that his visit to Oliarosa Cathedral was to get acquainted with the mode of oppression whose spiritual head is the Oba of Benin. Mr. Hackwright commended the presiding priests for being able to sustain the legacy of the founding fathers of Oliarosa. Uh, I'm here in Benin City for the coronation of very much my wife uh, was with me yesterday as well and uh, we uh, certainly appreciated the traditions the history the culture the rituals of uh, the uh, and, uh, and, and, and the course of everything around it and I know that uh, this very cathedral this church is uh, a symbol of that history a symbol of those traditions Responding, the presiding priest of the Holy Arosa Cathedral, Ohonsa Harrison Okao, said it is noteworthy that the United Kingdom and Bini Kingdom are the two foremost kingdoms in the world. Joe Ohonsa, who conducted the British High Commissioner round the cathedral, informed the diplomat that the Oba of Benin is the owner and spiritual head of the Holy Arosa, while the Ohonsa oversees the running of the cathedral. Okay. Uh, there, there are two kingdoms in the United Kingdom and the United Kingdom. And is a big the of the United States. We are also the of the was founded in the of the the British High Commissioner was accompanied on the visit by his personal assistant, Mr. Saro Demigye. Adesuwa Lato reporting.